Hey everyone, James Reeves, TFB TV here at EWA 2024. Make sure you subscribe to TFB TV Showtime if you want to see our live coverage of EWA 2024, which is happening right now as you watch this video, most likely. I'm at the Pard booth with Jacob. We're looking at some very reasonably priced digital combo units that are both thermal and night vision. Is that right, Jacob? That's it. So we have approached that we have both night and thermal vision devices, but actually don't combine the image on those two. We have either one or second, so you can see either thermal image or night vision image. Uh, they say the change is done in under 0.1 second from one image to turn one channel to another channel. Mm -hmm. Okay, well walk me through what we have over here from left to right. All right, first thing that is shape. So we have tube style or traditional scope style uh, scopes. On this one we have two separate sensors. Uh, this, one, this sensor is 384 and this is 640 sensor. So this is higher resolution sensor for the how reasonable price is. So the price point is 2.5 thousand euro, 3.5 thousand euro. It's including VAT price. So it costs basically like a really good uh, optical scope. Right, and this price would be roughly the same maybe in the United States? I think that's like the 2, same. Like 2,500, 3,500 bucks? I think so, I think it will be the same. I'm not my market, but we try to keep the same price level in all markets, more or less. These are conventional glass magnified scopes, right? But they have the multi-spectral. Yes, I'll show you, it works slightly differently because uh, this is a little bit more like a, built more like a digital camera. So you have lenses, like a traditional scope, but here is the thermal lens, night vision lens. Then the image goes to the sensor, and that magnifies the image somehow. This one magnifies the uh, infrared uh, thermal uh, mm, uh, thermal image. This one uh, amplifies the uh, light image, mm -hmm. so visible light. So you also have the ER lamp, so you can basically make more the image more bright in the night in the night vision in, uh, night vision mode. And also you have the laser rangefinder. This is interesting because besides the measuring the range, it gives you also ballistic calculations. Mm, so very cool. once you have the distance, it calculates the bullet impact point, how much lower it will get on the distance. I see. And then these two units over here, these are just purely digital units, correct? All, all of them are purely digital. Okay. All of them uh, are purely digital, even though you have a lens and you have some... Uh, Optical. Uh, this one just looks like a yes, traditional it scope, but it like right. Are, yes. So the what's inside of two these two devices is more or less the same. Just the shape is different. This one we call compact. Um, so it's basically smaller. It has also another advantage. With this type of unit, you have a little bit more weight towards the barrel or to the barrel side. This one keeps the weight in the middle of the gun. Mm -hmm. So it's pretty nice to use. Um, yep. So hardware-wise, these are. Identical. Ident it, almost identical, yes. Almost identical. Um, what's also quite interesting for this, I don't know if you have tried it yourself, but when you put it to your eye, it feels like optical scope because of the screen. Right. The screen here is completely round. Mm -hmm. So it feels a little bit like the optical scope really using the traditional That you're scope. used to if you're a yes, traditional Yes, hunter. yes, yes. Yeah, sure. And the price, is that the same here, like 2,500, 3,500 euros? we did not reveal yet. Uh -huh. So in the, after the show, we will have to uh, think about this a little bit, but it should be similar. I uh, around 2,500 uh, and 3,500. So these are brand, brand new. Yes, brand, brand new. Actually, even prototypes still. Okay. All right, well, Jacob, thank you so much thank for walking us through. This is actually really neat. Guys, stay tuned. We're bringing you more from EWA.